Hey guys, today we're going to talk about your state. No, no, not that state. I meant your mental state. I'm going to give you three methods to improve your mental state so that you can go out there and do that thing that you're passionate about and you know that you need to be going after and you can do that effectively. And it's going to help you get rid of the negativity that just kills your mental state. The first method is based on the concept of garbage in, garbage out. So whatever you choose to feed your mind with, that's going to greatly impact the output that you have, meaning it's going to impact the way you treat other people. It's going to impact the way you talk to other people and interact with people. It's going to impact the way you perceive the world. It's going to have an impact on the everyday things that you do from your job to pursuing something that you know you need to be pursuing. It's going to affect all of those things. So if you put junk up here, you can expect that output to be crap. Now, the negative stuff that you're allowing to come into your mind, of course, two big things are the news, the media, and then, of course, social media. You know, a lot of times we can just get kind of soaked into what's going on. And let's just be honest, a lot of the stuff out there is just negativity. And if you allow that stuff to constantly be in your head, then that is going to have a tremendous impact on what you produce. So instead, replace some of those bad habits. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying don't ever watch the news, which I rarely ever watch the news. And I'm not saying don't ever look at social media because I want you to watch my stuff, of course. <laughs> but no, seriously, guys, you know what I'm talking about here. And that is allowing the negative stuff because there's just a lot of negativity. There's a lot of garbage out there. And if you keep putting that into your mind, that's your output. So instead, hey, pick up a book. And if you're a musician or guitar player watching this, which I think most of you are, one of the awesome books, I want to give you a couple books I recommend that have really helped me in many ways, is Joe Satriani's Strange Beautiful Music. You will learn how dedicated this man is to his instrument. It's just ridiculous, man. It's a really, really awesome book. Another great book is Dave Ellison's My Life with Death. He actually talks about his journey with Megadeth and some of the unfortunate things that happened to him. He even talks about his faith in this book, which I find is pretty awesome. Another awesome book I just finished is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. This is a phenomenal read for anybody i mean it's kind of geared towards the business world but i mean seriously for just anybody really really great book jim harper's work energy this is a really awesome book to find those things that really motivate you to push forward you can also listen to podcasts i listen to several podcasts the point is is to fill your mind not with garbage but with awesome things so that you can produce awesome things. It's pretty simple. Method number two for improving your mental state so that you can be more effective. Now, this is really simple, and this is a very quick tip here, but it is so crucial, and this is what I want you to do. Every morning when you wake up, the first thing, as soon as you get out of bed, I want you to think of that one thing in your life that you're the most thankful for. I want you to take just a few seconds. I know you're just waking up and all that good stuff. You know, it's like, oh, I want to go back to bed. But no, I want, you, I want you to take a few seconds and I just want you to dwell on that one thing. And this is almost going to sound a little morbid what I'm about to tell you. Kind of like the death metal band Morbid Angel. Pretty cool. I follow Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk on YouTube. I like to listen to some of his motivational stuff here and there. And one of the things he says he does, he says every morning when I wake up, I pretend that someone just shot my wife in the face. And then I realized that didn't happen. She's right there. She's alive. And that's the best thing in my life. And, you know, he goes on to talk about that a little bit more. Now, I'm not suggesting that you go that route with it, but I just want you to have that. And we're going to rhyme here kind of on purpose. I want you to have that attitude of gratitude. Be grateful because once you do that, once you set that in your mind, the first thing, as soon as you wake up, the rest of your day is based on that thought pattern. The rest of your day is based on gratitude. It's based on, wow, I've really got something amazing in my life. I'm very thankful for that. Now, maybe you don't have a significant other, and that's okay. Don't worry. That time will come, I'm sure. Or maybe it's just a close friend that you have. I want you to wake up, and I want you to 
think about that person. It's like, man, I'm really glad I have this person in my life. I've got two really close friends, lifelong friends. I consider brothers, Eddie and Tom. We played in bands together way back in the day, but now we live like miles away. Kind of like that Winger song. Hey, that was actually a pretty cool tune. But I never see them. However, we still keep in touch via text and that sort of thing. And I say that to say this. I am so thankful that I have those guys in my life. And I'm, of course, I'm thankful for other friends that we have as well. So it could be a friend that you have, that kind of a relationship. A lot of times we don't think about that. We take that for granted. But I just want you to wake up with seriously with that attitude of gratitude every single morning that sets the tone for your entire day method number three for improving your mental state so you can really push forward and do some great things with your life and I'm sure you're already doing those now but you can do them even more and even more efficiently and this is something that I personally kind of suck at. Actually, I really suck at it, and I need to start doing it, so I'm, I'm talking to myself here. I can actually see myself in the camera right now. It's pretty cool. I want you to write down your goals. And I'm going to give you a little strategy for this as well. And this is, again, this is something that I've always sucked at, but I'm, I'm starting to get better at it. I'm forcing myself to do this. But something magical happens when you take that pen or pencil in your hand and you physically start writing it down. I want you to practice writing down your goals. Write down a goal every day of something that you want to accomplish by the end of that day. And this is that thing that you need to either have completed or you need a milestone that you have reached before you lay your head down at night. Second to that, I want you to write down your larger goals as well. And these don't have to be like 50 goals. It might just be one goal that you have. You might say, hey, you know, I want to have this big chunk of debt paid off by the end of this year. Write that down as a goal then make sure you start making actionable plans on how you're going to make that happen, okay? That's the second half of that. You can write down goals all day, but if you don't make a plan of action steps that you're going to take to achieve that goal, then it's just a goal. But it starts with writing the goals down. Oftentimes, if you're like me, we get so caught up in the moment, it's like, okay, well, you know, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. I don't have time to write down my goals. I've got all this stuff I've got to do. Maybe you work a regular job and you get home and you want to practice guitar. Then you want to do some songwriting or you're working on a book or whatever. You have to take time out to write those goals down. Otherwise, you will find yourself running really, really fast in place but not going anywhere. And you may make some progress that way, but you really need that goal in mind. You really need that achievement, that milestone that you reach. Like, okay, I've made this goal. I've accomplished it, or at least I got several steps in the way there, and I feel pretty good about that because I know tomorrow then I can take those additional steps and, and maybe get there. That's okay too. Write it down because without it being written down, the goal doesn't exist. It's just an idea. Write it down, make it real, and make it happen. Now, there are many other methods to improving your mental state, and I'll talk more about this stuff in future videos, but leave a comment and let me know if this stuff is helping you guys. And feel free to share some methods that may have helped you improve your mental state and your mental being as well. Now it's time for some metal. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. You can also share this video. There's a little share button on there. Copy that link and email it to your friends or you know, there should be options to share on social media and all that. So feel free to share this video if you think it will help other people as well. Lastly, I've got a link in the YouTube description that'll go to my top 10 books. That's also a page where I list the gear that I use and there's some other resources on there as well. I keep that page active just so you know as things change. Like maybe I have another favorite book next month that I, uh, that I put in there. I try to read one book a month. I know a lot of entrepreneurs read one book a week. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. I'm a very slow reader. So if you're a slow reader like me, do not be discouraged. 
I don't mean to harp on this so much, but I, I do think reading is really important. And of course, what you're reading is just as important too. So I'm just trying to give you some things that's going to fill your mind with greatness and push you forward, push you to that next level. And there are links to my albums. Most of you know I have music out there on iTunes, Spotify, all those good places. But if you don't know that, there's links to my music there as well. So check out those links in the YouTube description. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for all your support. Until next time, keep it metal.